YouTube and welcome to another episode of the Albanorano Beer Review. Today we're doing one of our old top 10 lists. Now we've done this a lot in the past, uh, top 10s of different things. Today's is the top 10 beer glasses I picked up for 2015. Now a lot of people have asked me about doing a, uh, doing a actual glass collection tour. Uh, I have like 350 unique glasses over there and they're all on different shelves and all. it's so hard to do so I thought this was a great thing to do uh, go ahead and grab my top 10 uh, glasses I picked up this year and we'll start with this this is a sample glass but I love it it's it's just a mason jar it's from whippersnapper but it's like a uh, four ounce mason jar sample glass which is what they use at the brewery when you're sampling I think that's great yeah the whippersnapper uh, logo is really really tiny but I just think it's a cute little mason jar now also another sample glass I got was from Bicycle Brewing Company and right here is the glass and I think this thing is amazing uh, mostly because most sample glasses you find are the standard like Pilsner Ask and all that so this type of one just uh, basically a Brussels is is beautiful to me it just screams something cool uh, number three would be this one that Greg picked up for me. Um, the Great Lakes Brewing Company's Can Glass. So this is actually shaped just like a can and it fits a can perfectly. And yeah, I, it does absolutely nothing really for aroma or anything. But I just think it's a really cool glass. And uh, yeah, I like having interesting cool glasses in the collection. Uh, also going on interesting cool glasses is this one right here. This is stemware, of course, because it has to be stemware for me. But it is a mason jar on a stem. This is heavy as fuck. You could use this as a f weapon to kill somebody. It is a full-fledged mason jar on a stem. It actually comes with a, uh, a mason jar lid as well. So that's actually really cool. I love it. I've put the lid on many times to uh, save a beer for the next day. Uh, yeah, it's it's just a fun looking glass basically I, and I picked that up at the dollar store I think it was two dollars a glass that was great for me um, now this guy is a cheers glass from Boston but it's a super thistle and I've always wanted a super thistle I could never really find a super thistle nobody used them nobody sold them and then I found this at uh, value village for 50 cents so I jumped on getting that it, this was a recent pickup actually uh, you've seen it in a, you've probably seen it in a bunch of reviews because I love using it, but it's a fairly recent pickup. Uh, the Oast House Feku, the fake Teku, this is actually made of glass, not crystal. Uh, it's hefty too, it actually has a good heft. Uh, there is a little lip here which actually keeps it from being as breakable as the others. The others are, don't have this lip, they're just straight molded. Um, little outward spiral instead of inward. Uh, Tekus usually end like right here. They wouldn't have this outward lip spiral. Uh, yeah, I like this glass though. I think it looks nice. It has a heft. It does not break as easily as normal uh, Teku glasses. So I like it. Teku Murray probably wouldn't approve, but whatever. Now this one was picked up for me by Greg as well. This is the Beer Academy Wheat Glass. And it's it's just your average wheat glass. It actually, in all honesty, it actually has a bigger bubble and a shallower bottom than a lot of uh, a lot of those wheat glasses. But the reason I like this so much is the Beer Academy doesn't exist anymore. So it was a fun glass to add to the collection. And I didn't have any Beer Academy glasses. Uh, the Beer Academy was uh, six pints. It was a uh, Molson Coors branch a division that was in Toronto it doesn't exist anymore now this glass here I picked up this year now I've had these glasses for years and years and they always seem to break these glasses just break all the time which is unfair because they're my favorite glass to review in and yeah these are I pick these up at the dollar store whenever I see them and then they always break now um, you can get if you fill up to about here you just get the bowl done and then the rest of it is all room for aroma. But if you fill up to about here, you're getting about six ounces of beer. So you buy two or three of these, and you and your buddies can all have five or six ounces of beer out of a bottle. And it gives you a great taste, a great aroma, a great deal of swishability. They just, they look nice. They're very elegant glasses. And they're cheap if you can find them at the dollar store. They're usually $1.25 when they're on sale there. 
but uh, I can't believe how often they break, to be honest with you. Um, now, my next glass is a, another glass from, whoop, from Value Village. This is a Labatt's glass, of course, but I just love this, uh, this shape. I love this glass. I actually bought four of these for 50 cents each. Uh, only one of them had a logo on it, and it was this one with Labatt's, and the other ones are all uh, unbranded. And I actually think these are great little glasses. They do a great job for review. They do have a slight inside tilt at the top, so they do hold a little bit of aroma in. But um, I just like the glass. I really don't always go for a glass just for what it can do or what it's supposed to be able to do. Uh, like, I have all the Spigaloo glasses, and I just I, I don't care. I mean, now my last glass is pure on novelty glass. It was sent to me by a viewer. I've used it a few times in reviews. It's the booby glass. It's the booby glass. Um, yeah. The booby glass. Uh, if you're drinking a stout, this these uh, yellow nipples are hysterical because the boobs will fill up with the black stout and then you have these bright yellow nipples. Um, booby glass is an interesting glass. It's hard to pour into especially once you start getting to the uh, booby inlets. It's hard to clean, especially when you get to the booby inlets, but it is a fun little glass nonetheless. Um, and I know so many people get angry, oh my god, it's a booby glass. Those look nothing like real boobs. Um, they're, look at how small they are here, and then just how, yeah, it's, it's just, yeah, yeah, it's, it's funny. And if you don't find it funny, you don't have to find it funny. I find it funny. And that's all that matters, is I like the glass. So there's my top ten glasses. You guys can make a video of your top five, top ten, whatever amount of glasses you picked up this year. I picked up probably about 30 glasses this year, so it was fairly easy. Um, and a top ten uh, beers and a top ten breweries for the year will be coming up shortly. Anyway, guys, it has been a pleasure talking to you. I will see you later. Bye.